As I was writing this script, BSG buffed the vertical recoil on weapons by 15%. So 15% reduction to vertical recoil to all weapons in the game. Have fun with that. And also props to BSG for actually telling us when they do stuff now. That was a tweet from their at Tarkov account, not the BSG account, but the BSG account did retweet it. So if you're following either, you'll probably hear about that stuff on Twitter from now on. Either way, enjoy the 15% less vertical recoil now. And let's get started with the video. What's up guys? No one here. A lot of stuff regarding the story of Escape from Tarkov has come up over the last 24 hours and we'll get into that. But assuming that most of you only care about what's happening in game, we'll start with that piece of it. The bandage event for Rizzy has ended and it gave different rewards than what were leaked. So those that were not taking part because of the leaked rewards, well, better think twice for the next one. I ended up getting plus five to my surgery and health skills, as well as a med case, a bunch of grizzlies, Vaseline, and a bunch of stims. And it seems like most people got that as well. Unconfirmed reports of other rewards for contributing very few bandages, as well as a significant amount of bandages as well so if you contributed bandages to the event then go get your reward otherwise there's nothing new happening in game as of right now as always follow me on twitter or join the discord for the minute by minute stuff both link below because if you were or are already then you would have been able to keep up with the craziness that has been happening outside of the game over the past 24 hours if you are someone who doesn't care about the lore and is only interested in what happens in game we're not sure if anything new will happen in game soon based off of this stuff i'm about to tell you, but it's likely something does happen based off of the lore implications of this stuff that we're figuring out. At the very least, this stuff is important to understand for the full release when we need to work through the story mode. With the end of the bandage event, the second episode of Chronicles of Rizzy Chapter 2 was dropped immediately where Rizzy did indeed survive thanks to the help of the blue-haired doctor here. Or at least who we assume is going to have blue hair. This doctor seemed friendly and name-dropped therapist as well as Ragman, their first names, not their code names, and said that some important people want Rizzy's face to stay hidden while he was brought back to full health. It was being very mysterious about one person in particular, who looked like an important person. At the end of the episode, we got another invitation to dive into the ARRS terminal, which TLDR is the fourth wall breaking hacking game essentially that has hidden puzzles and stuff connected to the Tarkov universe and lore. This was the thing that happened last wipe and with the last Chronicles of Rizzy event, where there were letters hidden physically around the world that we needed people to go and find after we found the actual coordinates. For both that event and this event, over the last 24 hours, I could not have found anything I am about to share without the help of my cult, or I mean friends, from the Sons of Soon on Discord. Specifically, Trent AU, Zap, Dub, Arturia, Elo, Pun Pun to the B, Mushimoto, SOS Fat 4 Plus, Flink, Keyblade, Sermood, Zynex, Nitro Man, and many more in the Sons of Soon, whether they be in the VC or in the chat, as mental and moral support. The group was able to work through the users available in the game, we'll call ARRS Terminal game from now on to piece together corrupted data and find several Google Drives. On the Google Drives were the letters from those who were kidnapped by Terror Group in the last ARG, the ones people had to go and find in real life with the caption, who can I trust? Then there were three photos, one showing who we believe is the nurse who helped Rizzy working with Sanitar in labs, then one where she is talking to who we believe to be Ragman, then a third of Ragman talking to who we are dubbing Tan Pant Man. The same Tan Pant Man is seen talking to Rizzy's dad in the new Chronicles episode. Then last but not least, we got a drive with this message. You've come so far, Traveler. This is Destiny 2 with that one. That's actually not part of the quote. I'll restart with that one. You've come so far, Traveler. Let me share a thought with you before you understand what's really happening. Quote, personally, a world that is happy and bright is something that just doesn't feel realistic to me. It may sound like I have a trauma or something, but I believe that the world is generally a wasteland that is not kind to us. End quote. Those aren't my words, but if you want to find your father and more importantly, show the world what the terror group really is and what they want, be prepared for anything. But do not stand away from friendship. Even with former PMCs, they are just as deluded as you are and also just want to find the truth. There's a link for a YouTube video and then it's signed Mr. Kermit. The YouTube link sends us to an unlisted video from the BSG channel and shows us this.
Now, what we think this is, is Sanitar's party getting broken up by Tan Pant Man and some bears. We believe this is Sanitar as he experiments with his stimulants in the Terror Group Labs with Blue Haired Doctor, it seems, that's the new character and also the one that helped Rizzy, to be working with him. Then, a group of the test subjects walk by outside who seem to match the descriptions of a few, if not all, of the people from the letters. Last in that line looks a lot like Rizzy's dad. We're actually assuming it is Rizzy's dad. When the dust settles, Blue Haired Doctor and Sanitar are gone, and Tan Pant Man is checking in on people, where he stops at who we believe is Rizzy's dad before it cuts out. So all in all, we think this all paints the picture that Blue Hair Doctor, who could be the new character to the game, worked with Sanitar and didn't like what he was doing to the people, or wants to steal the science for herself. Either way, we think she conspired against him with Ragman to save the people being used as lab rats. BSG told us this morning there's two more pictures, so the Sons of Soon are working on that at this moment, along with finding those last two pictures we think it's possible something happens in game once we find those last two pictures so again stay tuned and for sure if you want the minute by minute stuff follow me on twitter or join the discord if you like to solve puzzles and code breaking absolutely join the discord and ask in the eft chat how you can help regardless of pictures being found or not there is more to come with the chronicles of rizzy stuff because the season hasn't ended yet and we are just now learning about the true lore behind this stuff basically it's just getting started that's all for now though i'll update you guys more when i can it's just tough because if i'm making a video then I'm not helping getting people information that they need around the internet because lots of people are giving ideas on Twitter, different discords, different part of the community, different languages. So I can't stress this enough. If you want to stay up to date, follow me on Twitter or join the Discord, both linked below. If you like this video, hit the button, sub for more, and let me know what you think of the comments. Shameless plug here, Star Citizen is free to play right now, so you can learn about that on my Star Citizen channel right here. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a nice day. See you guys.